In this video, we'll look at the main tag and we'll also style it with CSS. The main tag belongs to a group of HTML elements referred to as semantic elements. Like the div tag, these elements serve as containers, but they also impart specific context and significance to the enclosed content. Consider the nav tag as an example. It's designed to contain navigation links. The inherent meaning assigned to these semantic elements supports search engines and assistive technologies in identifying their purpose. Moreover, they enhance the clarity and manageability of HTML code for developers. For those that are interested, I've created an additional video that demonstrates the use of these semantic tags in building a sample news web page. There's also a companion video that applies CSS styling to it. You'll find the links to both videos in the description below. So how is the main element used? As you might guess, it's used to contain the main content of a document. However, to use it properly, it's important to understand what it should not contain. The main element should not contain content that recurs throughout a website, such as sidebars, copyright notices, and site logos. In this example, we have an article about the main tag, this article is the main content of the page, and so it's surrounded by a main element. The header, navigation, and footer sections recur throughout the website, and so they are outside the main element. Now let's add some CSS styles to it. The styles for the navigation section are already present. To style the main section, I'll use these styles. This sets the margin, padding, and background color. Here a rounded border is set and a box shadow is added. And there you have it. Remember, the main tag is for the central piece of content. By using it correctly and styling it with CSS, you can create a clear and engaging user experience. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment.